Hello everyone, Simply CC here. I was just coming with a quick update on the cabinets that I painted, or the, not cabinets, the shelving. Hi, this is Raven. Um, I just wanted to guys, show you guys the before and after um, to see where we got. I finally finished painting them. I will say I started this project on Wednesday. It is Sunday and I finally finished painting everything. Um, granted, um, <coughs> bless me, sorry. Um, granted, um, I work Friday and Saturday, so I didn't do anything on those two days. So it took me about three days to complete the whole painting of the shelves. Been a learning curve, but they look great, I think. I'm excited to put them back in the closet once it's painted. But I'm going to show you what they look like just now, so I'll talk to you later. Here is the before. Um, this is how they all look. I forgot to take a video of all of them um, before I painted them, but these are the ones I painted. Apart from, of course, the that cabinet door right there, my, my youngest broke and I had to repaint it because we had to get a new one. But um, here is the ones that are going in my closet. Um, these are the shelves that are going to house my shoes. Um, and these are, of course, the shelves that go on into those taller rectangles. So I'm really excited. I think they look great. So you think, look at it before. Um, that's the color they were. That one's really dusty. That's how they all looked. I had to wipe them down and everything, as you probably saw in the video. But, um, yep, they were that color to this. I'm really excited. I think they look great. All right. Talk to you guys later. Hey, YouTube. Simply CC here. Um, I'm back with a quick update. But as I'm doing that, I'm also going to have to make my eldest daughter a cheese kiss today. So let me go ahead. Okay, I'm back. So I have a few tips that I want to share about painting shelves or any type of furniture. Don't buy acrylic paint if you're going to paint furniture or out of yeah no furniture and uh buy a mini roller especially if you have flat surfaces now if you're doing things like dressers with curves i ain't did that i'm doing straight squares you know we hitting right angles that's all and um i really <laughs> you know, now that i'm using a roller it is so much easier so do that I'm done with this quesadilla it makes me happy um i'm gonna grab her And then, so use regular paint that you use on trim. Hold on, guys. You may hear my kids playing. Sorry, I am a <laughs> a full time mommy. Um, so no acrylic paint. Use regular paint, trim paint, probably paint for the walls. Just don't use acrylic paint. Uh, acrylic paint like for cracks. And get a mini roller. And when you're painting shelves, paint the edges first and then paint the shelves, the flat areas, and the, you know, the walls going up and down. That's the things I've learned. When you paint the edges last, it kind of spills paint over onto the shelves. So if you paint the edges first, then you kind of smooth out when you paint the shelves. Biggest thing that I've learned thus far, saved me a ton of time. I am back again for the update. As you can see, we are in my closet. I'm about to paint. Um, Oh, I should show you guys the color. I'll do a close-up on the color that I picked. It's called Frosted Jade, Frosted Jade, J-A-D-E, by Bear, B-H-R, I believe. And it's the one coat because I'm trying not to be doing this forever since I'm doing it by myself. But anyway, I'll show you a close-up of the paint, but I'm about to paint the closet, and I'll do a little speed-up of it, and you guys can watch my progress. I'm trying out this new Edger thing. So you see how some places you see the blue tape I taped off? And then some, I don't have it. I'm going to try to use this in place of that. We're going to see how that goes. I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. But, um, sorry if you hear my kids name my mom playing. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And thumbs up if you like DIYs. And thumbs up because this is not easy. Okay? All right. Be back with you in a moment. I'm back just to give you a close up. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it's kind of like a, I wouldn't say minty green, but it's a little greenish. I don't know. This lighting's not helping, but I was trying to show you guys. I can see it a little bit. 
that's the color onto the painting. Okay, everything I'm using in this video, I have the little plastic cover for my paint pan. I have my rollers from other projects. That's why I have other paint on them. Big one and a small one. I have me an ankled brush, which is good for um, getting the creases um, or in the cracks close to the edge. I love this brush for that. And like I said, I'm going to try to use this edging tool today. So we'll see how it turns out. What's up? I'm back again with the update. My child is calling me. Yes, Raven. Mommy. Yes, Raven. Mommy. She don't know nothing. Mommy. Yes, Raven. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Are you eating your dinner? You eat, eat. Chip. You eat. Oh, you eating a chip? I see. You got a Cheeto. Is it good? I'm done. All done. Okay, can I go back to recording my video now? No. Why not? I, I need to really do this video. Please? Please? Yes. Can I record now? I love you. I'm going to record. Okay, guys, I'm back with an update. As you can see, Mama. Oh, Raven, Talia, please, Mama, give me a moment. Can you go get another chip? Go get another EE. -E. All right. Ooh. You get that? All good now? Okay. Sorry. Okay. So I'm back. As you can see, I'm done using the Sure Line. And I don't know how to link stuff. I'm going to try, you guys. But I believe this came from Home Depot. But if I can figure out how to link it, bear with me. I'm still just now restarting YouTube. Um, I will link it down. This tool is amazing. As you can see, because you can see the color pop out, the way it goes around. And I did not tape around the window. I did not tape anything except for where you see the blue tape. Raven, Talia, this is really not going to work. I can't compete with you, boo. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I had to have a moment with my one-year-old. Yes, Raven. I thought you said bye-bye. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. That's so nice. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Can I go back to my video, please? You guys, I'm going to try to do this with her. Maybe she'll get distracted. But as you can see, the edger tool is amazing. It has really cut my time down a lot. It usually takes me probably three times, three times as long as it took me with that. And the distance you get from the... um like around the frame is really good like for when you, when I go in with the roller it's going to be epic so I just wanted to show you guys how it looks so far and we're going to jump into a speed up of me um hitting this corner I'm gonna try to get as much as I can so you guys can um see that how it all comes together with the roller um 
I'm not going to show you how to close it because I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But, um, yep. Yeah. Um, if you want to watch this progress, keep on watching and. Okay, I just finished this side. You guys, it looks epic to me. I think I'm going to love the color. I was hesitant about it, but as it dries and where it looks spotty is because where it's darker, like right there, it's um it's dry and that's where it's still wet, but I love it. This took me about 15 minutes to paint from this wall behind me. So all of that side all the way over here went over this side completely less than 20 minutes which is really good that edge tool has saved me so much time and as you can see um i will i'm gonna go change my baby's diaper because she's calling for diapy and then um we're gonna do this side and we'll be done i will come back when both sides are completely finished um and i pull the blue tape off and uh yeah give you guys like a little preview i'm so excited i hope you guys are excited the color seems out it seems calming but i don't know i like to do stuff outside the box and try things and i'm happy with it so let me know what you guys think about the color you probably have a better view of it once it's completely dry but yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in a little bit All right, hey YouTube, Simply CC here again. Um, I'm trying to see, let me see if I rotate a little bit. We get better light. Mm, that looks a little bit better. I mean, my glare is like real, but on my glasses. Okay, if you cannot tell, hold on. We are in the closet again. I wanted to, can you please? Thank you. I, I, no, don't, don't do another one. I don't need you another one. Raven, put it down. Leave it alone. Stop. You gonna get up. You wanna? <sighs> okay, we're back. All right, I'm in the closet. Oh, I forgot something, but it's okay. I need to bring y'all with me. I'm all over the place. Let's start this again. Hello, everyone. Simply CC here. If you cannot tell, I am back in my closet. We are here with an update. I um, want to let you guys know what I'm working on now. I got a lot of good stuff going on. Um, I promise y'all. One day, y'all gonna click on my video and I ain't gonna look a mess. I promise. But we still gonna look a mess till we finish this closet. So, I have these shelves that were originally black. As you can see, I painted them as well. I have decided... Let's see if we angle you down. Okay, and this little built-in opening in my closet... One second, everyone. Raven yeah. needs juice. And I'm back. Like I was saying, this is a built-in already in my closet. Let me get y'all down a little bit more. All right. This um, whole cube, let me center you. 
Ooh, yeah, there we go. It was already built in. The, I had two of these shelves. That's the other one. So now I'm going to show you how I hung these, um, hung the shelves up to kind of make it uh, layered. To me, I'm out of breath. I ran up them stairs, y'all. I'm sorry. <sighs> to me, this is a great space, but it's kind of awkward. You know, it's a bit tall, a bit wide. And without the layers, you can't really store a lot in within them. So I came with the genius idea because I'm a genius, if you didn't know. And they fit perfectly in there. So I'm going to hang this second shelf and show you guys how I did that. And I got some more really, really exciting stuff. Okay, I have a DIY that I'm going to show you about my mirror. Something, nothing big. It's simple. I um, had an old mirror. I'm repurposing it, painting it gold. That I have, um, I don't even know. It's like a glass tray. I'll let you guys see it. I need to spray paint that gold. Also spray painting my old mirror in gold. So I'm excited about putting that in. I ordered some things from Amazon. So I will do another ha. Okay, um, when those items come in today, because they should be here, at least all of them except one item should be here by 9 p.m. tonight. So I will come with the, another ha, because it's only like four items or something. But anyway, y'all let me know when you upgrade to a haul. When can you call it a haul? Like how many items do you have to have for it to be a haul? Because I know two ain't really it. You know, them is ha's. But y'all let me know. Anyway. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that with the drill and everything. So just come close and uh, let's do some DIY stuff. I'm having so much fun, guys, if you can't tell. Having a great time. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Before I get started on this little tutorial on how I'm going to hang this shelf um, um, and what I did to the first one, I'm going to show you what you need. You're going to need, I like a mechanical pencil for marking because um, you don't have to sharpen it. Um, you'll need a leveler. This is mine. So hold on, let me center it. Mm. Yep, yeah, no. Anyway, that's the leveler. You will need these. And I think these are called anchors, like wall anchors. Um, that's what I'm going to call them. So you need that, and you need a screw that goes with it. They have different sizes. I'm using these two. You use bigger ones, of course, if you have a bigger shelf. Um, these are small, so I can support them well with that. I will also be using a drill. This is my drill from Ikea. Um, that's my bigger one to start the hole and put my anchors in. And this is a small one to just screw in the screws. You don't need two drills, but I'm just showing oh, yeah. you guys what I have. And they're both from Ikea. Yeah. Raven, not right now. Let mommy tell them what I'm doing. Please, girl. All yeah. right. First off, what I like to do yeah. is to decide. And I'm, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I'm a legit eyeballer, okay? Like, I want it to match that shelf yeah. over there. Yeah. I know that there's a chance that it may not be exact, but I'm going to try my best. So, once I fold it down that way, I'm going to use the leveler. Raven, back up, please. I'm going to use the leveler to make sure I have this um, balance so I'm not slanted. Actually, that's perfect. With my mechanical pencil here, I'm trying to bring that in focus. Y'all know what it is, though. Um, these are the openings. I'm going to lay my pencil right over the opening, and I'm going to keep it as flat on this as possible. And I'm just twist it and put a little dot on the wall. Come over here and do the same thing. And now I have marked on the wall where I need to drill a hole. Next thing you will need is your first drill. Well, this has to be my first drill because it's the one. If you only have one drill, that's fine. Just get your drill now. You're going to need the bit for drilling a hole. You need to start a hole. Oh, I can't focus that. You can try to just use mine. But anyway, you need that. So I'm going to put that in here and I'll be right back. Okay, with the drill uh, bit in to drill, hold on. I'm going to find my holes in the wall. Let me see if I can bring y'all a little closer. I don't want to, um, you can't see my hole, but it's right there. And then I'm going to start to drill. Both holes are in. Next step, you will, I'm back out again. And you can see both of my holes. Don't touch, Raven. 
going to take my anchors and you will need also a hammer. I did not say that, but you need a hammer. What you're going to do Mommy. is put this up to where you drill that hole and hammer that right on it. Done. Ladies and gents, I will go with my smaller drill now, also from IKEA. I have my drill bit on it for my screw, and you're going to take your screw that goes with the size of your anchor and drill that in. So, next shelf, I'm going to put that up. And you put in and press down. So you push it onto it, and when it locks, push it down. And there is our shelf. So now I can sit things on it. Next. Okay, guys, Simply CT here once again as the wind is blowing my paper. Okay, so right now I'm in the garage. I am about to uh, do a second coat on some things in this metallic um gold um yeah so i will show you the things that i'm spray painting and uh one of them i forgot so i gotta do the first coat but i'm gonna do the second coat on the other three um after i do this first coat but want to bring you guys along so you can check it out so i'll see you guys in a little bit bye Okay, YouTube, Simply CC here again. I'm here with another update, guys. I am currently in my hallway. I'm about to show you this mess of shoes I have that I need to reorganize um, and put in my closet now because I'm in the process of putting some things back, even though, like you saw, the snippet things are in the garage are still drying that I need to place in there, like decor items, my mirror. And I got two more shelves that I want to hang, but they're all still wet. So in the meantime, I'm going to start putting the things back that won't be in my way once it is time to put those things up. And I want to show you this mess that my house is right now. I'm probably going to do a clean with me um, video to show you how I clean all this mess up. But um, if you're excited about organizing shoes in a closet, cause, because I am, then keep watching this video. Okay, here is the shoes. These all need to go back in the closet. Raven's been playing with some of them. Get ready for this room, you guys. It is an utter and complete mess right now. And then you haven't even seen the bathroom. So my husband was so kind to bring up all of my clothes from the basement this morning. But now, of course, everything needs to be organized. Um, I have stuff everywhere, things that all came out of the closet on that dresser over there. Just a mess, but we'll get it all together. Bathroom. Yeah. I had my rack that was holding some things, and now, yeah, it just, yeah. Just needs to be done. But the closet, look, yay, it's, it's clean. So let's put some shoes up. Woo! I'm sorry, that was so unnecessary. <laughs> 